Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Medtronic. In this video, we will go through on how you can add uh, Google Fonts or custom fonts into your project without having a external link to be included. So what that means is we're going to download a font from Google Fonts as an example, but you can use this concept with any other fonts. And what we're going to do is we are going to use that local font for our project. So first thing we need to do, as usual, we need to purchase and download Medtronic. And once you've done that, it should look something like this. And what we do from here is we will open up our IDE. Oh, sorry, we don't need to open our IDE just yet. We need to download the fonts first. So let's go here to like Google Fonts and pick a font that we're going to use. So let's say we're going to use Open Sans, maybe? Or let's use Roboto. And download the entire family. We have it right here. So we grab it from our folder and we put it into our project or I'll put it into Medtronic. But when we put it into Medtronic, we need to put it in the plugins folder because this is where we put all the downloadable or downloaded third party um, assets. So we put, we create a new folder called say Roboto or the font name of choice. Uh, we can just put it here and just unzip it. All right, we can now delete this. And then we go into the IDE, go to our demo, go to our source, go to our plugins, and go to our Roboto folder. And in here, we need to create a new file. Let's call it just roboto.css. And in here, uh, font, we need to put the basic font face, uh, CSS. And we call this font family. And we basically have to name it, just call it Roboto. And the source equals URL. And this is where we assign it. So it's going to be uh, just a regular. If you want it to be like bold or anything like that, you just have to include it and so on. And of course, you can add additional things like uh, certain IE or well, certain IE behaviors. Um, for example, you can look at this example right here. You can change different formats, like if you need an uh, open type or WFF or true type, and so on. So these are all additional, like secondary uh, uh, URLs or source links that um, CSS will use in case this the, the first one doesn't work. But we don't need that for now. If your phone needs it, please include it. But for this example, we don't need it. All right, so that's, so basically all this is done. And well, what we need to do here now is we need to add it to our bundle. Now, uh, there's two ways we can do that. You can do it via Gulp or via Webpack. Let's do it via Gulp first. So to do that, you go to your, um, uh, gulp config and then what you do is you scroll down to, um, basically when you look at base uh, vendors base and then mandatory because it's a global font that we want to include we're going to put it in the mandatory um, bundle so let's scroll down to here um, of course this is uh, what we're trying I'm going to showcase here is I'm going to put it as a global bundle but of course you don't have to follow this exactly if you don't want it to be in a global bundle you can always put in optional it's, it's up to you so let's put this as Roboto and then we put our styles which is where we define our font face and we need to put a config Let's just choose this and then edit it. So it's end of plugins under Roboto and then Roboto.css and then we need to include the fonts. So let's choose this and Roboto and then everything. 
Now we don't have to choose everything if we don't want to. Like say we only need Roboto regular, then you just include uh, Roboto regular.ctf like so. But let's just do this for now because in case that in the future that you want to have more than one, like you want lights, you want uh, bold and whatever, then you just include everything and then you just be included into the bundle. So we save that. And next thing we need to do is, if you recall, in our previous videos, we mentioned on how you can actually overwrite or change your fonts globally. Basically, you go into our SAS or source SAS components, go to our bootstrap and look for font family base variable, copy that and put it into the demo variables. So, Roboto. Like so. So now what we need to do is we will need to compile this. So let's go to HTML, go to tools, open up our command prompt, and run gulp m1. Alright, it's done. So let's go ahead and run our localhost. Let's copy this and put it into our browser. And well, it's, it's Roboto now, but let's look into our demo, our live demo, and see the difference. Let's go to HTML. All right, as you can see, the font is different. And that's because we are now using Roboto as our font of choice. So if we just look at this, scroll down to our font family. If we can find it, actually we can just see right here, Roboto. There we go. Font family, Roboto. All right, so this is how we can change fonts globally via uh, Gulp. So for Webpack, it's um, you just need to do the same same things. Uh, the only difference is instead of adding this in the Gulp config because Webpack will not use the Gulp config. Uh, what you do is you go into the Webpack uh, folder in the Tools, and you go to Plugins and Plugin CSS, uh, Plugin SAS, sorry. And all you do here is you just import the CSS file that you just created, which is, um, let's just go back to our plugins and go to our robot, this, this file right here. So let's just do that. Spline at source plugins um, roboto roboto.css and let me put a comment roboto yes. and save that run the um, webpack build um, let's do a new one so npm run build demo one And it's done. So let's look into our preview or our local host and do a quick refresh. And we see that it's now using, it's, well, not now, it's still using our Roboto fonts, as you can see right here. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you find this video informative. Give us a like if you did. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that the next time we release a new video, you get an update. And please um, follow us on our social medias. Links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.